this was a left wing operation uh, and partisan, meaning it was a Democrat operation to use these agencies to target their political opponents. It began uh, in 2010 uh, with Citizens Unite. I shouldn't say it began, but it metastasized under the Obama administration in 2010 with the Citizens United uh, decision by the Supreme Court that expanded free speech for corporations and other entities. The left was furious about it. They figured out a way to use the IRS to suppress the emerging Tea Party movement at the time and try to target other Republican-oriented groups that were taking advantage of this decision. Part of that was to get the FBI to criminally investigate those who were using their free speech to advocate for uh, or to advocate against uh, uh, Obama's re-election. Uh, and Obama succeeded. He suppressed an entire political movement, uh, he and his allies, in 2012, ensured his re-election. So comes in 2016, they had another issue. You had their candidate, uh, Hillary, uh, tied to criminal activity as as exposed uh, through Judicial Watch's FOIA investigation of Benghazi, which found the emails. And uh, so uh, you had Obama, who had a personal interest in seeing Hillary re-elected. Re Obama was the first president in uh, decades to campaign directly for his successor. Even uh, surprisingly, it's, and it hasn't been really done before, at least in modern history. Uh, presidents leaving tend to get, stay out of the campaigns, not Obama. So his agencies working hand in glove with Hillary, including the FBI, uh, went in a partisan way after Trump and people around him. And uh, that involved Ukraine and such, using these very agencies. So, you know, uh, w there's nothing about, quote, you know, we talk about the government. No, we're talking about ideologues and, and, and partisans using the powers entrusted to them under, uh, to the, uh, by the American people, uh, certainly in these agency operations, uh, to uh, target their political opponents. And, you know, that's what we're seeing here again. There's nothing about, quote, the government doing this. It's, it's remember, these are partisans and ideologues doing this in the FBI or directing this, certainly in the FBI and the CIA. And this is just part of the abuse. Uh, we have the targeting of parents, the targeting of pro-lifers by the FBI. Uh, you have uh, the Department of Homeland Security, uh, targeting quote election speech and you know they've decided to escalate their purview over quote managing intelligence and protecting america against intelligence to protecting america from the wrong politicians being elected uh so uh you know they they think they can they can interfere in elections and that's part of their duties and responsibilities and you know to me uh, we got to ask, what is our Congress going to do about it? What is our law enforcement to the degree it's capable of doing anything about it going to do about it? And you know, your listeners should be asking their members of Congress, what are you doing about the Twitter files? You all just voted to fund these agencies with no restrictions, even though there's evidence they were misusing tax dollars to target and destroy the civil rights of American citizens by the millions. And they rigged an election and they're planning to rig another one. What are you going to do about it beyond a hearing? Are you going to keep on funding it? You know, those are the tough questions we got to ask. You, you know, we know what's been done. We have the proof. And the only way to get it stopped is to either people will lose their jobs or be prosecuted over it. 